Wikipedia Top 25 Report, Most Popular Wikipedia Articles of the Week, October 10th to 16th, 2021. Rank 1. Squid Game. Despite this being the fourth week after it first dropped on Netflix, it's been all green light, no red light for this South Korean pop culture behemoth. At this rate, we'll be seeing it at the top of the report for as many weeks as there were players in the Squid Game. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what it's about, or what people have been saying about it, or why it's become so popular. All I have to offer is a Jersey Club remix of that notorious song. Rank 2. Tyson, Fury. Tyson's Fury surely came in handy during his third and final boxing match against heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder, whom he beat with a violent knockout punch in the 11th round of the bout. Even in all of their fighting fury, Fury still tried to prove he was a gentle giant by going to give Wilder, who was bleeding profusely out of his ear, a handshake. Wilder declined, which Fury attributed to him not reciprocating his love and respect for him, but if I had to guess, I'd say the blood gushing out of him might have played a part as well. Rank 3. No Time to Die. In spite of plenty of things against the 25th James Bond, such as a tumultuous pre-production with changes in directors and release dates, a pandemic delaying it some more, and the involvement of the person who inflicted Fleabag upon the world, No Time to Die manages to close Daniel Craig's tenure as 007, packing quite the emotional punch. Critics and audiences have responded well, although Bond still has to at least double its current $341 million worldwide gross to make a profit. Rank 4. Barari Deaths. In 2018, a whole family was found dead in their Delhi house, with everyone but the strangled grandmother appearing to have hanged themselves. Netflix released a docuseries based on this morbid incident, House of Secrets, The Barari Deaths. Rank 5. David Amos. While holding a constituency meeting, this member of the British Parliament was stabbed to death in what is considered a terrorist incident motivated by Islamic extremism. Amos was made a Knight Bachelor in 2015 for public service, having been an MP since 1983. His death comes just over five years since Joe Cox was murdered by a white supremacist and has reignited the debate about MP security. Rank 6. Deaths in 2021. Try to hide your hand, forget how to feel. Life is gone, with just a spin of the wheel. Rank 7. Halloween Kills. Even Michael Myers, one of the most indestructible serial killers in film history, was helpless against the pandemic, which delayed the 11th time he hit the big screen to this year. A sequel to the continuity streamlining released in 2018, Halloween Kills lives up to the name by featuring some of the most brutal deaths in the series, starting with the fireman who ensured Michael didn't burn to death in Laurie Strode's basement. It didn't win critics over, as reviews felt disappointment at how, unlike its predecessor, the movie did not try to stray far from slasher film convention. At least there is a chance to finish things well in next year's Halloween Ends. Rank 8. Adele. Looks like we finally got a hello from the other side. As soon as the performer of one of James Bond's most acclaimed theme songs got divorced, jokes flew that all was set for another heartbreak album that would sweep charts and awards. And now it's officially coming, as Adele announced her fourth record called 30, which again is titled after the age she was at the start of production, which will be released in November, while also issuing lead single, Easy On Me, which broke plenty of single-day streaming records before the day was even over, and will undoubtedly be sitting pretty atop charts across the globe. Rank 9. Deontay Wilder. Number 2 Tyson Fury had been planning to fight compatriot Anthony Joshua, but this former heavyweight champion exercised a contractual clause asking for a rematch, hoping to finally avenge what he had claimed to be a cheated fight. But instead, Fury won again. Rank 10. List of James Bond Films. A guy who is supposed to be discreet, yet introduces himself with his full name and goes after every woman he sees. He also sometimes drinks on the job. Six actors have played him, as put by Alan Moore, Jock, Fry, Eyebrows, 
lovey, posh, and scary, across 25 movies, and even if the latest, number 3, has a tragic ending, don't expect a retirement anytime soon. Rank 11. William Shatner. Space, The Final Frontier. 55 years after becoming James T. Kirk, William Shatner, who curiously is the inspiration for the mask worn by number 7, Halloween Kills Villain, actually went into space, becoming the oldest person in a suborbital flight at the age of 90, as part of Blue Origin's 18th mission, third of the year. Rank 12. Daniel Craig. Craig has made his final appearance as Double of Seven in number 3, No Time to Die, and has been demoted from spy to mere detective for his next film, Knives Out 2. Rank 13. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. The UK got this Marvel film, part of Sony's Spider-Man universe, not the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but there are hints Spider-Man No Way Home might unite Tom Holland's Spidey with this anti-heroic counterpart, on September 14th, three weeks before it hit US cinemas, and had the best opening of pandemic times. It remains to be seen if the next movie, based on a Spider-Man villain, Morbius, will enjoy the same success. Rank 14. John Gruden. This American football coach, a coach of American football, as opposed to a soccer coach who is American, resigned from his role at the Las Vegas Raiders, after an investigation revealed emails containing racist, misogynistic, and homophobic slurs. Rank 15. Made. Miniseries. Viewers are still enthralled by the Margaret Qualley starring Netflix adaptation of Stephanie Land's memoir, mostly about working maid service jobs to support her family as a single mother. Rank 16. The Last Duel, 2021 film. In contrast to number 7, Halloween Kills, the other big release of the week is a classier film, a Ridley Scott directed medieval drama based on the real story of how a knight, Matt Damon, challenged to death a squire, Adam Driver, who allegedly raped his wife, Jodie Comer. So The Last Duel managed to get good reviews, this here writer agrees even if he found the movie slow at points, though is not expected to make as much money as Michael Myers. Rank 17. 2022 FIFA World Cup Qualification. The first country to join hosts, Still weird to say it, Qatar are four-time champions Germany, making Die Mannschaft's fans hopeful that they won't embarrass themselves like in Russia 2018, although the successful qualifying campaign included a defeat to North Macedonia, so all bets are off for how it'll go. UEFA Euro 2020 semi-finalists Denmark also punched their ticket, and more squads should get in by the next round on November 11. Rank 18. Indian Premier League. India's most popular sport, cricket, ended its national tournament with the Chennai Super Kings beating the Kolkata Knight Riders. Rank 19. Midnight Mass Miniseries. Rank 20. You. Season 3. Netflix is delivering some tension this month, as the already released priest bringing the supernatural to a isolated island community is now joined by the return of Penn Badgley's Joe Goldberg, who won't let a marriage and a son stop him from getting obsessed with another woman. Rank 21. Margaret Qualley. Number 15, Maid Star. And in a bit of meta-casting, her character's mother is played by Qualley's own, Andy McDowell, pictured. Rank 22. 2020 Thomas and Uber Cup. Back to sports popular in India, namely badminton, with a biennial national team tournament having the addition that should have happened last year, and victories for Indonesian men and Chinese women. Rank 23. Ho Yun Jung. Rank 24. Lee Jung J. Finally a close gap between those actors from number 1, Squid Game. Their characters, as put by Honest Trailers, are an uncomfortable reminder to Westerners that North Korea is a real place with actual people in it, and the protagonist who is bad at killing, however, he is elite at standing next to people getting killed. Rank 25. J. Jalalatha. 
One last trip to India with an actress turned politician whose life was told in the recently released The Laviai. Thank you for listening to this reading of the most popular Wikipedia articles of the week. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions on what else to feature. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.